My name is Zoe, um, and this is my presentation for the um, for the end of this Hyperledger mentorship project. Um, I'm from Fort Collins, Colorado in the US. I'm currently attending uh, Colorado State University. This is my um, last semester of my computer science degree. Um, and I worked with uh, Igor and Ivan on the blueprint-like interface for EROHA Special Instructions Project. Um, so the initial goal for this project was to create an intuitive blueprint-like interface with block representations of EROHA Special Instructions for us users to um, have a more approachable and easy way for them to build their own smart contracts. Um, the web application that I created also allows the user to save programs that are currently in development, both in JSON and raw byte formats. Um, and those saved programs can be loaded into the application for modification and expansion at any time. Um, the tools that I use to build this web application include the, um, the majority of the application is written in JavaScript. There is a tiny bit that's written in TypeScript. Um, and then I also used React um, and React Strap for uh, some, some components that I used for the application. Um, the first objective was to create a visual interface to construct smart contracts with the block representations of EROHA special instructions. Um, the second objective was to have the ability to save and load programs that are currently in development. And the third objective was the ability to serialize the constructed program into the raw byte representation of EROHA special instructions. So my project deliverables, this was my original mock-up of the application design using Figma. Um, I originally, I took a lot of inspiration um, from Blockly, um, the web application written um, and created by Google to aid in like the learning of kind of initial coding practices, if you are familiar with that application. Um, so these, these are the, these, um, these blocks in black are the block representations of the uh, EROHA special instructions um, on the right demonstrates what I had originally planned for how the menu would work, that you would be able to have all of these different categories for the type of instructions that you were able to use in order to build your smart contract, um, that it would pop out on the side and that there would be a, um, a panel on the right that would show the JSON or the raw byte representation of what you were creating in the workbench in the middle. Um, and then there are the save and load capabilities as well as kind of the delete all button there. Um, this is ultimately what the app looks like as of right now. Um, I, was, I was luckily able to get in contact um, with some more like UI specialists who were able to help me kind of refine the design of the interface. Um, there, were, there were some features of the original interface that I wasn't able to have just the way that I wanted. For instance, the menus collapse down instead of collapse out. And I had initially planned on adding a drag and drop feature for the block, similar to how Blockly does it. Um, but I, I came up with this um, add and delete via the plus and X buttons that you see in the instructions in the workbench um, blocks. So um, the execution and accomplishments, I was able to create an application that allows the user to create smart contracts using block representations of EROHA special instructions. I was also able to add the save and load feature, which allows the user to continue working on in-progress programs. Um, I also attempted at great lengths to have the uh, application connect directly to the server to, to submit the instructions directly to the ledger as an optional objective. Um, this, however, is currently unfinished. It's in progress. Um, there were just a couple of un, uh, unforeseen compatibility issues with the front end that I'd created and the um, JavaScript library that I was attempting to use. Um, so we kind of ran into some issues there. Um, I am most proud of the design of this application. Um, as this was my first web application design, I was able to 
receive a lot of useful feedback during this process that allowed me to improve upon my initial mock-up. And then overall, I found expanding on my knowledge of how to use React and JavaScript to create all the individual um, components, all the blocks, and dictate their behaviors to be the most challenging, um, along with understanding how to utilize uh, the Aroha JavaScript library. Uh, recommendations for future work, definitely finishing client capability for this application would be the most useful additional feature. Um, it would also be useful to add more blocks to represent additional instructions to expand on what the user can currently create. Um, as it stands, uh, the application is only um, supporting some of the more basic instructions. Um, but there are more complicated instructions, th things like triggers or expressions that could be added to um, further, uh, to give the user more tools in building their, their own smart contract. So the output, I kind of put together just like a little demo video to demonstrate how um, the application works. Um, this is just kind of, uh, this is demonstrating how one would create kind of a base case. So registering a domain, being able to register an asset or an account and an asset to those domains, be able to name them. Um, and uh, here we go. So this just kind of shows how the, the menus open up. You can use the the add buttons there, adding the name of the of the domain. When you're registering an account, you can name it. You can add a key, and then the drop down will contain any and all uh, previously registered domains, so that the user doesn't have to type it in every time. Um, similar similar with the asset. And then um, this is the mint or demint um, de or burn, I guess, uh, instruction where you can add currency and then to the asset and the account. Um, this is demonstrating the save feature. You can save as both JSON and, and as a byte array, as I have previously stated. And then you can erase the workbench to, to start over as well. Um, and then this is just demonstrating the load feature that you can indeed use files that you had saved previously to load your previous work into the workbench. So that, um, so the insights I've gained, I received valuable advice and feedback from professionals that have helped me grow as a web developer. Um, as I've mentioned, this is kind of my first web application that I've designed and implemented kind of from start from scratch. Um, so it was really, it was really great to get uh, feedback from a lot of different individuals from, from different backgrounds. Um, and I guess one piece of advice that I'd pass on to other mentees is to really accept any and all feedback as an opportunity to better yourself as a developer. I think that that um, has been by far the most uh, rewarding aspect of this internship is to really be able to present your work for feedback and, um, and hear that feedback and be able to implement it and see how you uh, grow as a developer in real time. So. Yeah, thank you um, to my mentors. Thank you to everybody else who helped me in this process. And um, that's that's the end of my presentation. Thank you, Zoe. Um, and thanks for the uh, demo as well to mm -hmm. just uh, get a sense of the uh, application that you built. Uh, I do see your both of your mentors, Igor and Yvonne here. Um, do you have anything to add to what Zoe presented? So, uh, yeah, hello everybody. I'm Igor, mm -hmm. one of the mentors. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot to Zoe for uh, your presentation and for her work. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was really difficult, I guess, internship uh, in the way that as uh, Iroha 
version two is still in development, and so I was already working with the Roca version two. So yeah, some of the interfaces were changing. For the client library documentation, yeah, was a bit difficult. Yeah, and also this internship required a lot of experimentation. Uh, in terms of yeah, just getting the right the interface. Uh, we gave only like uh, some inspirations uh, as uh, tools that I might look uh, into. But yeah, the whole design and ideas behind the UX UI were totally hers. So um, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I, you know, that's part of the intent of our mentorship program to give, you know, those who are new to the open source projects and community a chance to experiment uh, under the guidance of uh, seasoned um, uh, community members like you, uh, Igor and Ivan. Um, thank you, Zoe. I, I do have a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. How did you hear about mentorship program at uh, you're in Colorado State and uh, how did you come across this opportunity? Um, I, so I had applied for a couple of Linux Foundation mentorships the summer prior. Um, I'd been uh, told about them by a peer, um, somebody that my academic advisor had uh, linked me up with, and she suggested that I try my hand at participating in open source mentorships. I had applied last summer, um, but just my, my skill level just wasn't where it was at in order to be effectual. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I didn't receive a mentorship last summer, um, but then when I was looking into what I would like to do um, this summer, uh, I remembered you know, all of the positive things that my peer had said about uh, mm -hmm. Linux Foundation mentorships. Um, and, I, and I decided to apply again and luckily it worked out this time, so. That's great. That's how, I, that's how I came to be here. <laughs> that's good to hear. And uh, hopefully you're going to be an ambassador on your campus to help mm -hmm. us get the word out. Uh, it's not just Hyperledger mentorships. Yes. So, so the uh, Linux Foundation, it's called LFX mentorship. So if you go to that platform, you will find, um, you know, of course, during the summer, they're, you know, the most number of projects that uh, mentorship projects that the different foundations offer, but throughout the year, there are opportunities out there. So we appreciate you staying in the, you know, continuing uh, contributing to this project and mm -hmm. also staying in the Hyperledger community in the open source community and help us spread the word on your campus about getting involved in open source. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you so much.